Hello everyone, Odyssey here with Mac Wayne Science Center and you're watching SciSparks. Have you ever thought something as simple as an orange peel could pop a balloon? Sounds crazy, right? Well, stick around as we explore the surprising science behind this fun trick. Here's what you'll need for this experiment. A balloon and an orange. Yep, just an orange. First, let's take a close look at an orange peel. If you look closely, there are tiny juicy pockets all around and inside the peel. Let's see what happens when we squeeze our orange peel near the balloon. All right, here we go. <laughs> Did you see that? The balloon just popped from an orange peel. So, what's going on here? Orange peels contain a chemical called limonene. Limonene is a nonpolar hydrocarbon, meaning that it's made up of hydrogen, carbon, and it doesn't have a charge. Fun fact, limonene is what gives oranges their wonderful smell. But limonene can also be found in other citrus fruits, such as <laughs> lemons and <laughs> limes. Natural rubber found in balloons is also a nonpolar hydrocarbon. Hydrogen here, carbon there. In chemistry, we know that like dissolves like. And this is the reaction that we see. We can see the same reaction with styrofoam and acetone. The nonpolar parts of acetone interact with the nonpolar chains of polystyrene, breaking them apart. When we squeeze an orange peel, tiny droplets of limonene spray out. This chemical breaks down the rubber in balloons, causing it to <laughs> pop. Now, it is important to note that not all balloons pop with this experiment. Some balloons are treated in order to last longer, like for birthday parties. So, next time you have an orange, remember that you have a secret balloon popping weapon right in your hands. Thank you for watching this episode of SciSparks. To catch new episodes as soon as they're released, subscribe to McWayne Science Center's YouTube page or visit us at mcwayne.org. Until next time. <laughs>